Hi, and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a uh, Buick that we're going to be uh, replacing the blower motor assembly itself. The customer came in and thought that it may have possibly been some leaves or debris inside there, but you listen to it and there'll be no doubt in your mind either. As you can hear, that's pretty noisy, so uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, replace the blower motor with a new one. Um, what we're going to do is uh, on the passenger side of the car, underneath the dashboard, right up underneath here, is where the blower motor is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out these little clips in here, this one and this one, and we're going to remove this cover here. It just basically pulls right down. We're going to actually get a tool to, to take this out. It's like this. It gets behind the clip like this and you pry it down and out. If you don't have that you can just use a pair of needle nose pliers you grip it right here and you pull down and slowly pull it out. And don't destroy it because we're going to need to reuse this again to put the uh, cover back up. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side right over here. We're going to take this one out right here, the same thing. Get behind it with the pair of pliers, needle nose, and you just slowly work it down and you pull it. And you pull it right out. And then this comes down. We can get in here and pull it down. Right. and we'll take this cover out we're going to take this light bulb out like this and then this right here is the uh, the blower motor right here and got a bunch of stuff up underneath there there's a little screws underneath the bottom right here it looks like quarter inch there's probably going to be three quarter inch screws and then we're going to take this this motor down and out of here so let me grab some tools and we'll take it out. If you can get in there with the driver handle, you can. And we'll take the screws out. Now we're going to need to use these screws over when we put it back in. So hold on to them and don't lose them. And then we have one more in the back that we'll need to take out. Back here, we're gonna have to get in there with a uh, with a driver with a with a uh, swivel. And then we'll just locate the screw in the back that we're gonna be removing. fairly loose. I could take it out by hand. We're just going to relocate this harness out of the way so we can get it down and out of there. And we'll put that back in a minute. With a screwdriver. Unplug it. Just relocate the plug to the side. And then we're going to take the motor out of its opening. And you turn it and pull it out. And you can hear that motor's pretty noisy. So let's grab the new one and uh, we'll put it back in. This is the replacement motor. We're just going to put it in the same way that we took it out get underneath the harness and just push it in there. Now the plug is a little bit different than this one. It's a little bit longer of a plug. So we just position the motor where it belongs 
and then we'll get some screws up in there to hold it in place. Some screws back in there to hold it up. Screw them just into plastic so you don't have to so you don't have to tighten it in too tight. You just snug it in there. And then we'll get the last one in the back. You get all three of the screws tight, then you can tighten it up with your ratchet. Now remember, it's just screwing into plastic so it doesn't have to be real tight. You just want to get it snug. nice and snug. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to plug our harness back in right here. And you listen for it to snap in. And now that's all back up. And if everything goes well, it should be, uh, should be nice and quiet. So let's test it before we put the cover up. Nice and quiet. Okay. All right. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the harness back up there where it belongs, which it is now. We're just gonna tuck this in. We'll put this back up underneath here. Reinstall our courtesy light. Put it back where it belongs up here. Put the push pins back in here where they belong. Sometimes easier said than done. We'll get them back in where they belong. And we'll put our pins back in and we'll be all set. As tempted as you may be to leave those pins out, make sure you don't because they actually hold that plastic piece up and it doesn't interfere with your feet. But that's it. This job is done and we're on to the next. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.